And at last, here comes Kenyatta, flown from detention in Maralao and driven on the last stage of his journey in a police vehicle. surrounded by reporters and he gives an impromptu press conference on the steps of his new home. My first message to my people will be to thank them for what they have done for me and to ask them to keep calm. Uh, that is, not to make any trouble uh, in their rejoicing for my return. And um, uh, through there we can build a united Kenya. Mr. Kenyatta, do you think you'll be able to form a political party uniting Kanu and Kadu? I do not recognize, uh, I mean, favor one of them. I say I belong to both of them. What are your political ideals, Mr. Kenyatta? What is your political philosophy? <laughs> My political philosophy. Well, uh, I think my political philosophy is, well, if I can say, love thy neighbor as uh, thyself. <laughs> Who is your neighbor? Uh, I think the world is my neighbor. <laughs> I mean, Dr. Vervoort once described his policy as good neighborliness. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, that can be sorted out. If it's made possible for you to take a seat in LegCo in the Parliament, would you do that? There again, I cannot put myself in LegCo. That, I leave that to my people. If they elect me to sit in a LegCo, I would gladly do so. Would you like to do that yeah. soon, if possible? As soon as my people want me to do it. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think is the biggest problem facing Africa today? There's many big problems facing Africa today, uh, Africa today. That is, one, we must eliminate ignorance. Two, hunger, disease. Those are the, um, I mean, many other uh, problems, but I think those are the uh, most important. Kenya is a poor country, and its best future probably lies in the idea of an East African federation with Uganda and Tanganyika, and possibly Zanzibar. One measure of Kenyatta's success will be whether Kenya manages to achieve that. Good night.